Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another comparison video since you guys loved my last comparison video. And if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and click through and show some support for my Balenciaga video or any other videos that you're interested in. Um, but I thought it was interesting. You guys really enjoyed the comparison video, so I'm gonna do one for my Proenza Schuler. And so Proenza Schuler is a contemporary brand, I believe. And so it's not as popular, but it's one of my well-loved bags that I really do enjoy. And you know, it has a lot of really fun hardware. It's a little edgy, but also I would consider it a classic, especially if you're going to work or even on a casual day, you could have a fun, colorful bag, just like this blue one here. Um, so yeah, go ahead and tune in if you're interested in seeing um, the differences and what fits inside these two bags. Um, so the first thing that um, I'm going to talk about is the size. The obvious difference is the size. So this one is considered a mini bag. And so it's a PS1 mini, I believe. If it's not, then I'm going to go ahead and comment down below um, so that you guys know the exact title of these bags. And they're both still available um, online. Not the colorway though. This one is a limited edition color. Um, and also it's a limited edition hardware style. And I'll show you in more detail in this video. Um, but this specific one is like a peacock blue. It doesn't look like a peacock blue in my opinion. It looks more like a like a medium royal blue, but I mean, I'm not complaining though. It's a really beautiful color. Um, so yeah, so the size, this one's a mini and then this one's a larger um, bag with the top handle. So these are like the obvious differences. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, I guess get started with the comparisons. So if you look closely right here, um, the the front clasp right here is the same. They're both in the silver hardware. Um, and the only difference right here, if you see closely, is surrounding the clasp is metal. However, for this one right here, surrounding the clasp is wooden. And so that what uh, makes this one a limited edition one is because all the hardware and details of this bag has wood on it. Even if you see the little like girl mets or whatever you call those things, they're all grommets, there you go. They're all wooden. Um, and it has some silver detail, which is so cute. And um, that's the main reason why I've held onto this bag is because I find the details so interesting and alluring. Um, and so the difference here is that if you see the, the details here, they're metal. And so um, this blue bag I've gotten for many years now. So I think they've changed up the way their hardware looks. So if you see the details here, it's completely different. Um, this is definitely a lot more stiff and even the chain detail, the chain detail here is different compared to the other one. So hopefully you can see that. Um, and of course the top too. So the top right here, if you see right here, we have the top handle and it has the um, silver um, details here and it has this. Um, you see the little dots up here on top, but actually that's just a detail. You can't actually physically adjust it, unfortunately, um, but it is really stiff. So if anybody's worried about like toting around like a really important laptop, this is really substantial. So I don't think this will break off anytime. Well, knock on wood. Um, and then this right here on top does not have a handle. It's a little squishier because I've had this for years. Um, and so it's just over time, it's just gotten squished out. Um, but it's not really um, packed full, so that's why it looks a little thinner, but it's fine. Um, and in the back, the mini one doesn't have a zipper. It's just empty. And, but However, this one right here has a actually really nice um, zipper compartment here where you could have put a bunch of stuff. You could, I think you could even put your phone. I think I put my phone back here many times. And the one thing about this is that the zippers are really, really nice and they don't catch. Uh, so it's easy to open. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the straps. I took off the straps so it would just be easier to show you guys. Um, so if you see the straps here, um, I, the, obviously the black belongs to the black bag, blue belongs to the blue bag. Um, but if you see the differences here, um, 
They are similar in the adjustable strap range here. Um, however, the blue one has the interesting blue detail where it has the um, a second leather color here. And that's just what makes um, this limited edition bag different. Um, but I think other Pro Wenzas that are PS1 minis just come with one color, like this black one right here, which is just one, um, one leather piece um, and the same color. Um, and they are adjustable. And then the other difference here is that um, the dot here is wooden and this one's metal. And it's just because of the addition of my bag. But one huge difference I've noticed is if you, if you look in more detail here is that, is that blurry? So you'll see that one is a screw and one is um, just more like a simple clasp. So that's the other difference that I've noticed. Um, yeah, and then the, the length is actually a huge difference too that I've noticed. Um, so I do have the blue one um, tied in a knot, um, but if you notice here, even when I had it tied in a knot, they're pretty much almost the same length. It's hard to tell, but trust me. Like even when I have the blue tied in a knot, the black one is the same length without even having a knot in it. Um, so that's one thing to note is that um, the, the mini PS1 is a lot longer um, in, in length. So I'm about 5'2", and I'll show you the uh, details in terms of how long um, it sits on my frame, um, and you could um, make that determination. But actually, it's really cute just having um, a tie detail on your strap anyways. And I've it's never bothered me, and I thought, you know, like, I could just tie it and just wear it like that. So that's how the SA showed me how to do it. And this is years ago, so, and you could totally do that for other bags too. Um, so let's go ahead and get inside of the bag. I think that's what you're really worried about, right? So same closure, you open it like that, you flip it open, and there's this um, little opening right here. It has the, oh, actually, that's what I noticed that's different. If you see right here, um, there's like a little dot for the black one, but there's no dot for the blue one. You know, comment down below, Is your does your mini have the little dot down on the bottom? Might be a new thing, maybe it's just the bag like larger the bag, then you have that little like more secure, um, I don't know, feature um, for this opening. Because if you see here, that has that, so it hooks onto there. Versus this one, it's just a simple clasp. And this one does, this one has a little, the other piece over here. So if you see inside, same thing. Pretty much the details look around the same on the top. Um, and, yeah, so the biggest difference is the interior. So if you see the interior, this one right here, you have one, two openings, and then you have a zipper in the back. So I'm gonna show you in uh, further detail here. So you have one zipper opening in the back and then like a small one and a big opening. So that's three in total. This one, which that's how I fell in love with this bag, is that there is one small opening that has a really strong magnetic opening right here. You see that? Like I had to struggle to open that. Um, perfect for a phone size. Um, it, yeah, it fits a bunch. And then there's this um, the zipper pocket right here. And then there's another opening and another opening and then another secure zipper right here. And it's really roomy. And also it has this like cool um, fabric. Feels like it's wipeable. So I think that would be nice and hard wearing. Um, this one, however, has the double leather. And I think other PS1s have the fabric lining. It's just mine's is unique where I have the double lining and then I have like this different color edging and the wooden trim. I think this is just special. So sorry guys, if you want this, I don't think they make it anymore. Um, but PS1, they have plenty of like really pretty color, uh, colorful um, styles too. So I would definitely check it out. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get down to what I have in this bag. 
Um, so the first thing I have is my card case. Um, this is my um, Chanel um, caviar silver hardware card case. I actually got this in Paris uh, when I was there last year. Um, and now I don't carry my key clay because um, I got a new car and so this is my card and my key to my car. I also have um, car keys um, actually on my phone now too. So um, I just need to carry my phone. But in case, you know, my phone's battery um, dies then I go ahead and have my um, card key. Um, another thing that I have in here, okay, let's take this out. So I'll take that out, which is my phone. This, take that out. Uh, so there's my sunglasses. I'm just keeping some of my essentials in here. So I have a charger um, as well as um, my perfume, lip gloss and a pen. I have this Muji pen, which I absolutely love, highly recommend it. It's 0.38 tip. Um, I have just some plug-in um, things just in case I need it. And then I have this right here, uh, which is like a lipstick. And then I have my AirPods right here. And, oh, and then I actually have the old, um, I actually have the old Proenza Schuler um, thing. And it's actually, yeah, I like have the old tag and everything. And I got this one from Nordstrom's, um, so. Yeah, so that's all I have. That's all that fits in here. And I'm gonna move on to the next. So this bag is like double the size, right? Like if you've seen how big this one is compared to this one, it's like pretty much double the size. So first this one is like my work bag. Um, it fits everything if, if I need to put like an iPad. The only thing is it doesn't fit my MacBook, unfortunately. Like it, yeah, it doesn't close. So that's the saddest thing. So maybe a like the Apple Air you might be able to fit it in. But let, let's go ahead and get started and try to fit everything that we have. So um, so one thing I like to do is stay organized. So I always have like organizational pouches. So I have this cool like trendy Prada pouch and it fits like perfectly in here. You see that? Um, and then uh, what I like to do is I like to put like my phone in the front usually, it's just easy to grab. Um, and then I'll just have like my smaller things in here. Um, yeah, and I'll just kind of tuck them in um, wherever I think I need to put them in. And in addition to that, I actually have this too right here, which is my iPad and I have my um, Apple Pen. So I'll go ahead and put that in here and it fits perfectly if you see all of that. So yeah, um, comment down below um, if you want more uh, details or if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that just lets me know that you're interested um, in these kind of videos um, and I could keep pushing them out if I you know, see more interest in these. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.